I just I was asked to have a little tribute to a fellow teller that um, unfortunately passed away just after the what the equivalent of this race at the East Coast Champs down in Miami. And some of us were there, and some of us weren't, and some of us knew him, and some of us didn't. But still a member of our paddling family, and feels right to. He would have been here today, so it is definitely something that we need to honor John and his memory. His name was John Chandlermeyer. Um, actually, my surf tee that I bought back in July was one of his. So. Um, he was an absolutely wonderful guy that really had a zest for life, and he'll definitely be very missed. Um, and for, but for all of us standing here, I think all of us agree that we wouldn't want to go any other way. Um, <laughs> for those of us, and he basically pa he passed away sitting in his kayak. So all of us here would go like, oh, hey, that's pretty good, because none of us would want, you know, anything better than that. Rob says he won the lottery that day, because... <laughs> You know, how lucky is that? I mean, it's better to, to go, if you're going to go quick, better to go in your kayak than sitting at your desk at work, right? <laughs> Happy memories. Happy memories. He, was, he was surrounded by friends that cared a lot about him. Um, he had an easy day, if you think about it. He had, it was painless. The rest of us, however, did experience a lot that day that were there. So, um, But anyway, there was an email that, that um, he his wife received from a friend in, New, in England. And um, this is a really cute letter. I thought we'd read it in memory, in memory of him. It says, Dear Vicki, I was so sorry and saddened to hear this news. John was such a wonderful man. His spirit burned so brightly, and he was full of warmth, kindness, patience, charm, humor, and a charity for everyone he met. I knew he was training for a major race around this time, and his competitive spirit was way up for the challenge. I'm sure that if John arrived at the pearly gates, the first thing he asked St. Peter would be, How the hell are you? The second would be, How's the kayaking around here? The third would be, would you be interested in? And he'd definitely recruit him into his business. Then he would say, where do I find a kayak? And the reply would be, we don't have any. And, it, and John's come up would be along the lines of, well, do you have water? Yes, we do. Is it holy water? Well, yes, it is. Well, why the hell don't you have any goddamn holy kayak? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so glad that when John passed on, he was in his Florida paradise doing one of the things he doing one of the things he most enjoyed in life. Being as much of a sport being as much a sportsman as an athlete and a competitor, he was characteristically cheering other people on. I feel blessed to have John as a mentor, coach, an example of how to live life to his fullest, and I'll always think of him whenever I go through Richmond, hear the word Florida or see a kayak or a jet ski. So obviously for those of us who knew him knew that he was this absolutely fantastic guy and for those of us who don't i'm sure that the news of his death has touched you all in very many ways um whether it's you know brings you a new perception of, on the on the blessings of life brings you and how uh, life could be over so quickly how life can pass you so quickly whether it makes, means that you get off work early to make sure you go paddling and enjoy life instead of being stuck <laughs> in your office all day and understanding that life is a gift and you have to feel blessed that it's yours. Um, whether you decide to buy new safety gear and, and understand that, you know, in, in, in the tragedy that happened, we all learned something from it. So everything, even though you may have not known him very well, at least maybe this experience has taught you something and that will be his legacy. So um, what I've done today, I don't know, those of you might, might remember John because he always wore a yellow Brazil jersey. So every time he might not have known him by name or even spoken to him, but he always wore this yellow jersey that said Brazil on the back. He wasn't Brazilian, and he wasn't from Brazil, but he, for whatever reason, he wore this yellow jersey and had a yellow bandana on all the time. So, and, and talking to actually a client of mine, um, I was trying to think of a way to honor him, and he said, well, the police do the back black band thing around their arm, and that would be nice. And I said, well, black's kind of a deaf color, and I don't like that color. And I said, what about, I thought, what about yellow? Because yellow is the color of the sun, and the sun's what brings life to this planet. And then I realized he wears a yellow shirt all the time. So that was actually a great thing. So I brought yellow ribbons and I brought pins. And if you'd like to tie a ribbon onto your paddle or pin a uh, ribbon onto your life jacket today in memory of him for this race that he would have been here, I've got it. So, and then we're gonna, once our race meeting's over, we're gonna head out and paddle and try to get in the circle despite the wind. And Derek's gonna say a prayer before our race and I'll put some flowers in the water and off we go. <clears throat> all right. One, one, a ribbon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.